Right, we've got a brand new save here using the same 1992 mod which the From Then to Now save is on. We're playing as legendary Brett Ress figure Mick McManus. But we're also unemployed in this save because we're going to have some, a bit of fun. We are going to simulate in this first episode three years into the future, go to 1995 and we're going to explore the wrestling world and see what we can find in it. If you, if you want to see a part two to this, make sure to smash that thumbs up and if this does get 10 likes, I don't know, that's probably that's quite ambitious for something like this, we will do a part two where we take it up to the year 2000. But let's get right into this. I'm going to sit here for a while and simulate this. But for you guys, I'll be back in a second. And so after a day of sim of simulating, we have reached January 1st, 1995. Let's have a look around this mod three years into the future. Let's do the annual awards first. Wrestler of the Year was won by Ric Flair every single year so far tag team of the year was won by kabashi and mazawa first year and it's been won by hansen and gordy ever since then silver king won young wrestler of the year and manami toyota has won the young wrestler of the year one of the top joshi stars of all time also i think no medusa was i thought she was would have been the, she was the first female to win the award no medusa maselli won it before her in 1988 Veteran of the year has been Stan Hansen all three years. I mean, it's true that in the eight in the nineties he was a massive veteran and still pulling out some great stuff in all Japan. How's his match he's been going at this point? Like, yeah, he's still at all Japan. His last match was an eighty-seven, where him and Gordy lost to Saruta and Doctor Death Steve Williams. Oh, the violence connection broken up. Hansen got a 97. At 45, he's still getting a 97. That's insane. Akira Hakuta, Hakuta, Hakuta even, has won Women's Wrestler of the Year, Female's Wrestler of the Year, every single year. Uh, Nigo Kasa has won Independent Wrestler twice, and Minami Toyota won it this year. Company of the Year has been WWF all three years. Let's see if we can pull that one off in our save. Most Improve, UWFI, PWFG and UOWF. Match of the Year this year. Was it Superstars? Jesus Christ. Was Nature Boy Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels in a faction together? Wow. My, I'm good at this game. <laughs> and they defeated Mr. Perfect and the model Rick Martel at Superstars. And the year before, it was the Mania, I assume main event, Hogan vs. Flair at Mania, got a 100 rating. Ours didn't get, we did Ho Hogan Flair and it didn't get a 100 rating, that's a sad shame. Card of the Year was Survivor Series lo last year, October Giant Series this year, and Summer Action Series Night 1. The manager of the year, Sherry Martell. Jim Ross, five-time winner of announcer of the year. Bobby Heenan won color commentator of the year the last two years. I don't recognize any of those referees, I'll be honest. And that's the last award. But what I want to look at is the companies because, well, there was a lot more companies than this when we started. So where have some of them gone? All Star Wrestling closed in November '93. AWA had already gone. Down to... The uh, CCW closed after 44 years in the, in December in last month. Well, who else? Is, who is? What's an interesting one? FMW closed. Go! What happened to? The person I really want to see what happened to them is Hayabusa. He's gone to New Japan. Was that 
after. I'm assuming that was after. Yeah, I assume he left after the close of FMW. Stayed there until the entire end. What else is closed? Smoky Mountain Wrestling closed after just two years. Oh, I thought Jim Cornette was the best booker of all time. Super World of Sport. I mean, they go into financial difficulty really early in the save. The fact that they survived another year honestly surprises me. ULL, I mean, with... Michinoku Pro probably will pop up soon, so that doesn't surprise me that these guys are bankrupt. UWA's gone. WCWA had already gone by the start of the server, don't know what I'm on about. But the WWA hadn't. Interesting. Who are the top stars in the world at this point? We'll go to the major companies. Sort by size. And it is the WWF at the top. Who are their champions? We have got Macho Man Randy Savage, a three-time world champion. It seems Ted DiBiase was the guy who won the vacant title in 92. He lost it to Savage at SummerSlam, I assume that is. Who lost it to Undertaker at Mania. Let's see... So, yeah, SummerSlam Savage won it. Undertaker won it at WrestleMania 9. Oh, so maybe that 100 match wasn't the main event. Undertaker, he lost it on an episode of Superstars. That's insane. Brett lost it at WrestleMania 10. And Hogan lost it back to Savage. At Survivor Series. So Savage has held the belt since Survivor Series. The IC champ is IRS. And this has had a lot more changes. Mark, Rick Model Martel won it. Brett won it back. Boss Man, IRS. Mr. Perfect. Repo Man. Marty Jannetty. So Marty Jannetty's won the IC champ. Won a singles title. And Shawn Michaels hasn't. King of the Ring was won by Andre the Giant in 1993 and Lex Luger in 94. The Rumble has been won by was won by Savage in 92 and Hogan in 93 and 94 making him a four-time Rumble winner. So in the first 10 they got someone to win the first four in this game and in over 30 years in real life they haven't had anybody win four. They've only had one person win three. And the tag champs? Natural disasters currently. Sid, they beat Sid Justice and Big Boss Man. It's a weird combination. But we noticed that, I noticed that there was a stable, which interests me. The front. Oh. I'm sorry. That's not what I expected with this table. It's Flair, Michaels, the Bushwhackers, and the Berserker. We've got Bret Hart, Papa Shango, and Repo Man as the Splinter. And Macho Man Randy Savage with the Nasty Boys as the Wild. Well, they're definitely wild cards, I'll give them that. Any names who feel like in at the start of 95 shouldn't be here. Well, Flair's still in the WWF. As proof as it is to say, Andre the Giant's still alive. So that's a difference. Who else? Anyone else? Oh, Big Boss Man. Who else is here which probably shouldn't? No, honestly, is no one's standing out to me as why are they in the WWF? Um, if you spot anyone that I miss, obviously, I'm only one pair of eyes. You're a lot more. Then let me know. But I don't think there's anyone here which isn't normal. That's a pretty normal roster, actually. Fair enough. WCW. Oh, nope, that's the 
That's the one. Okay. Now, if you tell me in the news, when did this happen? August. So he left and then got hired. So he wasn't stolen. He genuinely just... His contract just expired. Okay. And he's still not having great matches. That's fair. Let's see who's the WCW World Champion at the moment. It is... Ron Simmons. They got that one right, at least. He does get the title in real life. He got the title here. Beating Rick Rude in this world instead of Vader. Rick Rude, a two-time champion. Interesting. The light heavyweight champion is Big Josh. Not really a lightweight net. DDP is a two-time light heavyweight champion. Interesting. US champion is Ted DiBiase. He's also in WCW, it seems now. Tag champs, I don't know who they are. Firebreaker, Chip, and Todd Champion. Can someone tell me in the comments, who are these two? I don't recognise them. World champs, I know these two. It's the Steiners. And the TV champ is El Gigante. Oh, they've actually got Giant Gonzalez. Go as a champion. And he's defended the belt twice. It's not even just a one... Arachna Man is a former TV champion. <laughs> Let's run through the WCW roster. We already know that... Well, Arachna Man's recognisable now. Vade, Big Josh. He's a middleweight. Also doesn't feel like a big Josh. Brendan McMahon. <laughs> Any... <laughs> He's a, I mean, he's a regen, and so doesn't have a photo, which I can't get rid of the regens. I'm, I don't know how. If you guys do, please explain it to me. So, Brian Pillman is a star now. Cactus Jack's a star. They've got signed a lot of regens, actually. So, this is Firebreaker Chip. <laughs> he's completely unimportant. He has 38 pop in the US. And he's been consistent there, despite being a tag champ. Well, the US tag champ, of course. Not the wor not the actual world tag champ. Magnum TA still going strong. Well, not obviously going strong, but still in WCW. What's... So, Paulie Dangerously is still here, so he never went to EC Eastern Championship Wrestling. I wonder how that changes the history of time. Austin is here. He's a star... How's he done? Has he won anything? He's a two-time TV champion. And a one-time tag team champion with Bobby Eaton. And the Warrior is here. Vinny Vegas, Kevin Nash. Still here. If we go through the stables. Because that's always interesting to look at. The Diamond Mine and the Knights. Ultimate Warrior, Bobby Eaton and the Armstrong. Steve Armstrong and Tracy Smothers. That's all, there are some weird factions the AI put together. What? Who else should we have a look at? I mean, I suppose we should look at the two. What the hell has happened to the financial situations of these Japanese companies? These two are both broke. Like, they are completely bankrupt. Let's see who their champs are, though. So, Champions Carnival was won by... Baba in 92, who can barely go more than eight minutes, I know, because I've done all Japan at this save. Steve Williams won, the, won in 93, and Stan Hansen in 94. Tag League has won, won by Chumbo Saruta all three years, with Kent Kabashi in the first year, and Steve Williams last two. The current Triple Crown Champion... Is Kenta Kabashi, who beat Mizawa, who had an almost who had an eighteen month reign with the belt before him. So what? Well, that's pretty good all Japan booking actually. Kabashi and Baba are the tag champs, and they have been the champs since October ninety two. Seven hundred and thirty days as tag champs. 
and they haven't defended them once. Junior champion is Kikuchi. And the all Asian tag team champions, Crawford and Furnace. Good, great tag team. They've held these for 394 days and only defended them three times. Jesus Christ. That's all of the Triple Crown matches in the past three years. That's insane. New Japan, what about you guys? Junior champion is Wellington Wilkins Jr. who beat Tiger Mask Satoru Sayama. Interesting. IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. Okay, this title's actually been defended, at least. Quite a bit. Chono currently holds it, and being a no key, who beat Vader, who held it at the start of the save. No, Fujinami held it at the start of the save. Vader beat Fujinami in, at the January 4th show. Tag champs, Agoya and Kobayashi. Best of the Super Juniors has been, not been held. The G1 has been won by Sayama, Hashimoto, and Anoki. The Great Great State Team Club is still around in New Japan. And it's Choshu again, who's held it for 333 days, despite having lost it. It basically just keeps being... I think both of those title changes have happened on a January 4th show. Yeah. Hashi beat Chosho for it at a January 4th show, and Chosho beat Hashi for it the next year. Wonder what will happen at the January 4th show. Probably Hase winning it again. Tag League was for my Vader and Hashimoto this year. Well, the World League has not been held in a, in a long time. I don't know why I'm looking at that one. And the Young Lions Cup, Kensuke Suzaki won it twice. And El Samurai won it. So what I want to actually have a look at... Is some of the people who've popped up in this world in the last three years. So I want Max, three years experience as a pro. And let's go through this list. Oh, it's a long list. And try and spot any name. Ace Steel. First name I see. How has he done? Has he actually ended up going anywhere? He is not... He he has not wrestled anywhere. He's just done the indies and the small companies. Alex Wright popped up. He's only... Has he signed for anyone yet? A German company, probably? No. Interesting. Any other names? Da -da -da. Bobby Duncan Jr. Doesn't look to have done anything. Another McMahon. Why are there so many McMahons? Brian Road Dog, have you done anything? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> no, he's only lost to Randy Rose though, and that's a much bigger name than him. He beat Bob Holly and the Hurricane Shane Shane Helms on these shows. Interesting. Let's see any names I recognise. Do do do. Chavo Junior. When did he enter? He, he entered last year. So he's been wrestling for a full year now. And in that time he has had two matches. Great stuff. Chris Harris. Mm, one match. Chris Canyon. One of my maggots. Doesn't seem to have done anything in this save. Christopher Daniels, oh, what have you done? <sighs> like, there's a l lot of companies. This mod has every single company in it. But, well, it has not every single, but loads of the companies. They come up when they come up. How have so many of these wrestlers... Here we go. Edge is signed by BCW. It's probably a good fit for him. It's a Canadian company. And he's only wrestled... Twice for them. Or he teams with Joey Legend as the set as sex and violence. Okay, that's all Edge done. Uh, Glenn Jacobs, have you done anything? Unemployed. 
Hiroshi Tenzan. Still with New Japan. Good. Well, he starts to say that to New Japan, I think. Hayabusa's gone to New Japan. It's not really... Jeff Hardy. Nothing. No, unemployed. This is just a lot of unemployed wrestlers here. That's Junakiyama. Went on excursion. And then the company went on excursion to went out of business. So Akiyama's kind of been screwed here. Who else? Da, da, da. I, wonder if, I wonder how much that will affect Akiyama. Matt Hardy there, Matt and Hawaii. Mark Merrow. Johnny B. Bad, of course. Honestly, it's sad seeing some of these guys. Paul Levesque. What have you done in the past three years? You debuted in 92, I know that. You've won three matches and lost four, and you've never had a match higher than 29 rating. This is one of the greatest of all time in this industry. I don't think it's going to happen in this universe. This is honestly it's quite sad because there's a few com there's quite a few companies still. Taka Michinoku, strange at the ULL though, Joe, but obviously that company's gone. Takeo Amore. Are you trained at uh, All Japan? Oh no, Animal Hamaguchi's gym. So didn't get a link into All Japan. Probably cost him a bit. Takiyama. He's done MMA fights. Hasn't really done anything in actual wrestling. He's won both of his fights so far, though. And he's currently out training for a third fight. Yuji Nagata, New Japan. Stein signed straight with New Japan out of the dojo. Are you at least wrestling? You are. He is wrestling a lot. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna not gonna simulate forward yet because I want to see how this video does. But if there's anything else from this time period you want to see, oh, ECW has gone extreme. Still with Eddie Gilbert and Todd Gordon. Todd Gordon, no, no, Paul Heyman in this universe, but they've still gone extreme. If there's anything else you want to see in this universe, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time.